Mad Tea Party. A winner's a table, not a table. Why? When it's an unpalatable, of course. And when is a tea not for me? When it's someone else's proper tea. Okay, here's an easy one. Why is a raven like a writing desk? No idea? Me neither. And it doesn't matter a jot. Unanswers are always so much more interesting anyway. Of course, if you don't know the unanswer either, then you'd better come clean. The table is dirty after all, and we can't have you just standing there like a sprightly little pepper pot. Hop to it. In truth, the march here is forever complaining about how grubby everything is, but when a plate gets dirty, I just move everything along one space so I can't really see the issue. <laughs> the Mad Hatter's Tea Party, finally. Alright, there's a lot to do here. Uh, we only have to do things on top. Okay, we can't fall off. That's a good start. <laughs> the key to a good cup of tea is always put the milk in first. Disagree. Hard disagree. Oh, they just start off with the L take. Jeez. Really getting people going. Then the butter, then the eggs, and finally the ham. Um, what kind of tea are you making, dude? <laughs> uh, which one's appropriate for this? Probably the flower power again, to be honest. Would you like one lump or two? I do love me some lumps. That's a big stack of cups. Stacked teacup here, yeah, with lots of really annoying angles. Oh, and each one is individual? I appreciate it for this from the perspective of multiple dings. I don't appreciate it from the sake of all of the annoying angles I'm gonna have to hit. Uh, at least it's just dirt stains and stuff, it's not like rust or anything. Now normally I would do everything on the table and then the table itself, but honestly I think it might be best in many respects to just do the table first get the tabletop completely done uh, but then if I'm standing on top of something and shooting down then it's gonna splash onto the table and clean it for me so I don't really want to give up that yeah okay we'll work our way through one item at a time then instead and then finish off by finishing the rest of the table that's probably for the best what is that? that's a spoon a very twisted spoon and exhibit A, like, I'm cleaning more of the table than I am the spoon anyway, it seems. Yeah, what am I missing? Just the tip. And another melted spoon in a misshapen teacup. The stacked ones are just going to be annoying, so I feel I might leave them for a little bit. A bit of an angle. Actually, standing on them might give me a good angle shooting down into this if I need to come to think of it. So. <laughs> Hell, the handle was separate to the teacup itself. That's interesting. Did not expect that. Stand on this spoon to clean the other. right underneath that and also while I'm here underneath that one cracked teacup that's been repaired a little bit of kintsugi at work there it looked like did you really have to stack things Kind of annoying. And here's some of the blackberry jam and cake smears. Some of the cake that was all through the cottage earlier. Swirl. I do like the plate design. That's kind of trippy. Can I unstack them, please? <laughs> Like F to un to pick up the plate and put it down somewhere else. That would be really nice. I can't even see what's oh, okay. That apparently it didn't look like it was still dirty. Oh, it makes like a porcelain noise when you're walking on the plate. That's cool. There we go. I've got to sprint the first couple of times. Up we come. 
up to the top. Stacked teacup. That's is that a teacup? Oh yeah, it's just upside down. I was thinking it looked like a teapot, like a small teapot sitting on top of all of the cups. This could do with a scaffold, to be perfectly honest, but I don't see one anyway. Fear it's not being very generous with these either. I think I'm gonna to have to clean like the inside of that one. And all of the handles are separate. Again, I appreciate it from a ding perspective, but <laughs> a lot of work to do to get the dings, that's for sure. I was wondering whether or not they were just going to keep getting harder, or if there was going to be some smaller ones in amongst to break it up. Oh, almost fell. Let's jump on here. Ah, this gives me a good angle on the inside of this one, actually. That's handy. I need a... <laughs> oh, that worked. Okay, good. It was fairly generous after all. I have to say, I really need an angle in between crouching and standing. I often feel that. I need uh, a half crouch. Um, okay, there we go. And that teacup is... Ah, no. <laughs> ah, missed the jump again. Keeps getting caught on things. So many annoying angles. And like the ladder is not even going to solve all of that either. I think a scaffold would definitely be much more appreciated. Because then you get the height and the distance. Whereas the ladder, you just lean it against something. But then you've still got to clean the thing that it's leaning against. And that's honestly really annoying. angle from over here at least but we're just not able to get the coverage and one of the teacups up there okay actually now this will probably work fine because it's just this one yeah it's just that one that needs to be cleaned so once you've got most of them done then we can just run up and down the ladder and just work the angles it's not as good as a scaffold would be but it is an adequate substitute. I can stop getting stuck on the geometry please. You need to go over the side now. Now's where I really wish that I could be left-handed in the game. Or just swap hands briefly. Really nice. <laughs> Order of the population is left handed, just saying. Yeah, what else am I missing? Good. What is missing on this spoon? <laughs> oh, here's the pocket watch. Which is it? no, it's apparently a it's a calendar, not a not a watch. It gets called a pocket watch, but it's clearly showing the months. Oh yeah, March for the March here. This chain is going to be super annoying, isn't it? Never mind. Nope, they didn't make me clean the sides of it or anything after all. That's good. Pinned it separate, though. Excellent. I think that's all the pieces. We're not going to get any more splash back on this part of the table anymore.
So there's still a little bit of the cracked teacup specifically, I think, that I need to do. No, I'm just getting the table done. There we go. So there's a bit of the glue. There we go. So the piece there, this piece here, and the glue. Okay, is that everything now? No, still piece. There we go. That, I think, is now everything. Alright, yellow table, I think, clear. Let's just do this lip of the blue table. And we have a gramophone, apparently. Why? I'm not sure. Why has it got verdigris on it? I'm glad I have the pro washer. Look after your gramophones, people. Don't let them corrode. You must have one. They're pretty rubbish, but if you must have one, at least look after it. <laughs> uh, what's going to be the best way to climb up there? Probably using the ladder, funnily enough, but... Oh, oh, there we go. A little bit of buckle. Rhyme. And again, left-handed would be nice. Blackberry jam. Why are you getting jam on your gramophone? <laughs> Honestly, people. We're not even at 20% yet. <laughs> and this is a big thing. We're cleaning a lot all at once with this because it's a big item and yeah still not even at 20 percent hopefully i'm cleaning it well enough i mean i am using the yellow even though i'm standing on it hopefully i'm not leaving any bits behind okay can we get up on top of it yes good While I'm actually, oh, I was about to say while I'm on top of it, I should do the the stem that I climbed up as well. Managed to save it. So I managed to get up here easily enough, but you never know sometimes when it might prove to be more difficult than you thought to get back up again. <laughs> you might have fluked in the first place. It's always the, a dangerous thing. Is a lucky fluke can be very useful in a game or it can be very dangerous if you have to go back and redo progress and you've no idea how you achieved something that can really hurt <laughs> so how did i do this and you start to contrive all manner of ways that you might have done something it just takes you so long to figure it out Didn't think to see whether or not the Cheshire Cat's somewhere on this level as well. Should they be? I can't remember. So far they've been in every level. Hey! 20% finally. On to the sandwiches! I do like sandwiches. That will be my lunch. When I eventually take it. What do you suppose is the more sensible? To eat three square meals a day or four triangular ones? Depends on the size. Triangular would be pizza though. What would you like in yours anyway? Some cucumber or cucumber or cumbersome cu? I don't even want to know what that is. And then we've got the edge and the underside. That should I heard a laugh and a twinkly noise that's concerning another ladder and another step ladder still no scaffold though it's probably the largest single piece that isn't a tabletop it just me or does this seem wildly out of proportion <laughs> I feel the gramophone base should just be a little bit bigger. Uh, 
what else are the bits of this? Is the horn bracket? I think this bit. Is that a separate thing? Yes, it is a separate thing. What's still not clean about it? <laughs> good, good. Is that everything for the gramophone now? I think it might be. Excellent. Well, let's clean the table around the back then. And what else have we on this table? We have a large jug with an interesting pattern. If you spilled some gravy or something on this, you would barely know, would you? Nice base, though. Like, sits inside this little flowery sort of base. That's cool. It was a bit of a shame in some respects that we've kind of moved away from that generally. We just go for real convenient stuff and the stuff with like an integrated bottom. There's, there's a bit of charm to something that's like just round and then it sits within a cradle. It's kind of cool. <laughs> I don't know. Sort of thing you'd find at an antique store. Hell of a thing to have to clean, though, this base. <laughs> maybe, maybe we're better off without them after all. Maybe the top of the handle needs doing. I'm going to have to jump my way up this thing anyway, I suspect. Then again, maybe not. I thought I was going to have to do something on the inside of it, but nope. Now the base. What is there still to be done on the base? some ah a little bit underneath there we go good and then the handle we are still going to need to do the top of the handle oh and there is also a lid ah okay so it's not the top of the pot that's or well, the jug that's why it cleaned but there is the rim and the lid Which is not cleaning. There we go. Uh, what more do I need to do on the rim? Not seeing much. Is it something I have to do from the outside? Can I even. Oh, yeah, I can see the rim from there. Oh, is it this sort of design bit? No, apparently not. What have I missed? I don't see anything. Oh, right at the top. Okay, just, yeah, literally right at the top. The tip of the top. Somehow completely escaped my gaze. These teacups are way too shallow to actually have a decent amount of tea in them. Well, this one is anyway. looks large on the outside, but then it's just super shallow on the inside. That's so useless. Is there four tables? Yeah, there's four tables. About halfway through the second one. Oh, the dice. I wasn't sure whether it was going to be sugar cubes or dice. This place setting got the other side of the knife here. And then there's the fork. Which is very forked indeed. What angles left on this knife? Presumably the back side of it here. Yep. Wood. 
saucer has a lot to do around the outside. Saying one of those potions that allowed us to get bigger would have been really handy right now. Let's clean all this from the side of the table instead. stains and someone playing noughts and crosses over the other side. Alright, another one of the funky spiral plates. But apparently we haven't done enough of the bottom of. Thought I'd been pretty thorough. Apparently not. That's annoying. This angle here that I wasn't quite good enough on. Yeah, there we go. Playing cards. Ding, 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 and ding. Nice. <laughs> the uh, 11 of diamonds? <laughs> that is a very annoyingly shaped candelabra. But we might be able to just jump up onto it after getting up onto the teeth. Do what we can from here, but once again, having a scaffold would be really nice. Do what we can from down here, anyway. But I feel that there's some angles from above that are going to be required to get, especially for the candles themselves. It is broken up into bits, at least. So there's the base, there's the stem. There's the arms. And there's the capitals, apparently. Apparently a capital is the bit that holds the candle on. We're learning something new. Once again. <laughs> How washer teaching us words we didn't know. Usually it's nautical terms with all the boats that they have. Or architectural terms. Still haven't a single ding on this thing. Okay, there's the base done. It's a start. Stem is going to be really annoying. And then all of these arms and capitals, I think, are going to be easiest clean from above. All right, let's move on to the teapot then. Same designer as the jug. have to try and spray everything from each direction and then move around and go backwards work your way like back side front and then back side front well I guess it's side side whatever it's all perspective isn't it each leg is separate at least it's not just legs. Good. Now we're starting to actually get them. So the second one, there we go, should be done. The third one should also hopefully be done. And the fourth one is putting up a bit more of a fight because we missed things right up the top. Good. Let's just clean right up to the edge of this now, may as well. Two more tables to go. We're not even at 40%. I mean, we haven't finished this one either. table itself done which again was probably not great because 
probably standing on these and shooting down, but whatever. How am I going to get up onto this? I can grab a ladder. Actually, we'll just go on the leg first and then onto the handle. Is that a handle or another spout? Oh, it was one of the other spouts because, of course, it has like four spouts. Forty percent. Scones, scones, scones. Okay. <laughs> I mean, they are nice, I'll give you that. First are here's, and then the gones. Ah, they pronounce it gone. Scon. And it should be spelt with two ends. Which I believe it originally was. But it's like the difference between Scottish and English. It's really. Ah fell off again. Pretty sure it was originally like your CO double N. It's gone. But it would make no sense to pronounce a word that is spelt with cone in the word to pronounce that with a hard in. I refuse. Uh, it was this this leg that we could stand on and then up here. Okay, crouch down, get underneath here to try and get the lid. Uh, we just keep falling off that but it looks like I can stand there but it's just not quite flat enough, I guess. Also, I'm not sure what I'm missing on being able to get the teapot done. Is it a bit underneath? It's a bit underneath. Okay. <laughs> Question answered. Very well. And then the lid is a bit in the middle. The handle is done. Alright, now I can get over to the candelabra. Honestly, this with like the extra long is probably going to be quite good for a lot of this stuff. There we go, we even got one of the arms done. Two of the arms done. Nice. The capitals I think we're still going to have to do a little bit more on, but we're not going to be able to see everything from on top of them either. So it might just be a case of stand on one, shoot at the next and we'll like shoot at the one in front and behind so let's put that to the test go here and we can clean what we can of that one and the next one and honestly even the one on the other side <laughs> then get rid of the extension so we can just do the one beneath us what, what we're able to It is at least on a wonky angle, so we can actually walk down it to quite an extent. Ah, I was literally about to say, I don't want to fall off though, because then I have to work my way all the way back up again via the teapot. But you know what? There is a ladder right here. Let's not waste any more time than we have to. This is like I was saying yesterday, where yes, it's fun to have the little sort of mini challenge of try and do it without using ladders, but once you've achieved something without it, that's fine. <laughs> That'll do. From then on, if you fall, just use the ladder to get back up again. <laughs> it's not worth the hassle otherwise. I am not that prideful. That's the stem done, good. This capital just needs to be done. We can stand on the stem, or the arm, yep, good. And now, oh, here's the candle done. Jump to the next. And, uh, because they're all leaning over, we can actually stand in such a way that we can clean most of the capital. We clean what we can of the next one, before jumping onto it. Try to get 
the rest and shoot back at this there we go so what angles are we missing on this one backside which we should have gotten while we were standing on it but we can also get while jumping around like a madman probably there we go good i think that's all the candelabra pieces i think that's blue table done move that up here just to get that out of the way what awaits us here then the purple table i'm pressing the wrong button to go into a mode oh the cat is here he is uh up there reclining on the back of the chair fair enough this is the mad hatter's hat we can actually use the fork to climb up. There we are. Perfect. We're probably going to want to put either a ladder down or something just to go in from the side for some of the stuff we might be able to just see some from the ground as well from the tabletop rather and just use an extension otherwise it's just very close to be able to do while standing on top like this bit in here I, yeah we can make it work but it is very very close it's very annoying I also don't know how we're going to tell which bit is which. Top hat, top hat rim, okay. Which bit is the rim? That's the top hat rim, that's the, okay, the band is separate. All right, we're going to have to do that from the ground for the rest of it, I suspect. Da no. <laughs> Oh, he's got the top hat on top of the tall hat, of course. How silly of me. It's like the cardinal's hat, given the colour that it's been painted. And there's the Joker. Pins and needle case. Now, what was I saying about needing to do stuff from the ground? No, I need to actually do stuff from part way up. Might need the ladder after all. Or at least to get on here and then get back up onto this ledge. Not quite enough though. The band feels like it should be pretty much done by now. Ah, we can also just climb up onto this. There we go. Excellent. And then the rim, not sure what's missing on that bit on the inside, the underside. We also do stuff from this table, firing back again. Oh, we missed an entire bit down the bottom there. There we go. So that's all of his top hat stuff done, I think. So now we're onto the tall hat. I do like his scissors. I'm not sure I'd want to just walk around with scissors stuck into the band of my hat but I'm not mad so there is that I'm just disappointed no wait what
Getting all of the angles on the pins and stuff is also very annoying. There's one of them. There's the needle case. This side? Yeah, that side. Good. And then his base hat. All his base are belong to us. This is what we're going to have to do from this side as well. And maybe slower, because it looks like it's got some, like, tarnishing. Ah, oh, it's probably from above, isn't it? Or is it just... Just doing a few bits a bit slower. this cutlery right here as well. The tall hat band feels like it should be done by now. Not sure what I've missed. But never mind, we can move on to the base hat because we've got to do the underside of the tall hat rim anyway. Once again, the stacked element of these is really annoying, like the stacked plates from before. I'm trying to get to the different angles. This other table here is kind of handy though for the different angles. Is it the bottom bit of the band that I missed? It is, it is. Which I didn't even think about. That's the base hat done, now we just need to do the band and rim. And we've got the tall hat rim still. Which honestly feels like it should be done by now. But I'm sure I've missed just a cleft somewhere. This I just have to stand right up next to and fire down in the gap here. And still not enough. Uh, the band should be very nearly done. Good. The rim itself, maybe not. What is missing? Just had to be a bit more thorough, right? And let's just make sure we've got the table cleaned underneath it too. Make sure we get to see a shiny bit on all of those pieces. Uh, the yeah, tall hat rim is still not done. Rim me, baby, one more time. Wait, what? There we go. Right, let's tidy off this corner of the table because we're pretty much done over this section and then there's the cutlery that's further around that we'll do while we're there and then on to the next thing feels like the purple table I think is slightly smaller because it's nestled kind of underneath the blue one and the red one Which is why, even though we're part way through, we're still only at 50%. Because I think the final table, the red table, is the largest. With the most crap on it. <laughs> so, that might take us a little while. Yeah, it's only his hat that's on this one. Hat and this table setting is the only thing that's here. Right, then the rest is just the tabletop. Cutlery done. It's a picture of his hat. 
with something on top? It almost looks like it's, it's apparently strawberry jam. <laughs> we'll go with that. Otherwise it just looks very Diablo 4. Cleaning into the sun like this is kind of nice because uh, it shows up whether you've missed any flecks of dirt. Purple table... not complete. Okay, what have I missed? <laughs> ah. Didn't go right to the edge over there. Alright. To the leading edge of this. Then we've got the cake tower, which we should start from the top and work down, I think. So I think we maybe do that first. He says, cleaning a small jug instead. Oh well. <laughs> Not for the first time, getting distracted from what I was supposed to be doing. But to clean like the lid and stuff of that, then it's probably going to be best just to try and climb the tower. Now, can I climb this without needing a ladder? Maybe. Ooh, got a cherry on top. Dump. And up. And up onto the cupcake. And up onto whatever this is. Cake. Alright. Hello. Um, surveying our works. Well, I guess we can start. Oh. Like a tea tray in the sky, the mad tea party balance on the strawberry for some period of time, presumably. Okay. So, balancing, it's, it's pretty solid, but it's just a good vantage point, really. Well, that'll be the achievement for this level, then. That's good. So then there'll be one more for the final level, and there'll be two that we've missed from the first two, because I don't remember getting any that weren't the, um, just the completion achievements. Okay, that was the strawberry. Chocolate, presumably, is the side. Yes, there we go. Good. Let's try and work our way down all of this. Ah, uh, yes, power blasting a cake. That's exactly what I expected to be doing today. <laughs> what did you do on the weekend? <laughs> well, let me explain. <laughs> let me explain. I guess at least just getting some extra strawberry jam on a sponge cake is only really making it better. What have I missed? yoo -hoo. Are you not done? I, I, are you not entertained? Uh, there we go, apparently. Spray out. Oh, there is a lot on this plate, isn't there? Or oh, this table, rather, because then there's the frog pot, there's a teacup, there's the hourglass, of course. And we'll do the hourglass last, shall we? I feel that's appropriate. We are very high up. <laughs> Just as well, there's no fall damage. <laughs> Should we clean the edge of the plate? Presumably we also need to do the underside, which is annoying. See, this cake tower plate is only about half done, funnily enough, because we've done the top, but not the bottom. But let's make sure that we've done the edge properly as well. That looks better. On to the next bit of confectionery. A rather delectable looking cupcake. It's 
nice blue flowers down there. And a standing lamp that should be inside. Oh, and then there's the hat stand, of course. I shouldn't be confused by anything that I see in this. <laughs> Don't expect anything to make sense. <laughs> Good. That's the cupcake done. Now we can just do the plates. Which we're again likely to have to do the underside of, but those will have to be done from underneath with an extension probably. Do we can of this side of the plate that's kind of exposed to me. That's right, it's like lily pads almost. It's a lily pad sort of plate system, plate tower. It's honestly kind of cool. <laughs> oh, March here informs me of an educated circle. Scones rhymes with bones, like scones. Yes, correct. Yeah, because of how you spell it. Not scones, like we've been saying. I just inferred that based on how he was talking. English is bad enough without you just making more mispronunciations. Either forget what I just said, or from what I said earlier, it's entirely up to you. Okay. This is a weird noise, but I didn't notice anything happening, so... That was good, that was quite forgiving. I guess it's trying to cater for the fact that you might have not done the edges properly. Wait, were you always on the back of that chair? Probably. At least you get paranoid on a map like this. So this stalk is its own piece. Oh, each of them are their own pieces, okay. That one I'll probably have to finish from down there, I suspect. That's fine. There's no, like, confection or anything on this plate. Um, yeah, we might do this one next, actually. We'll do this first, and then we'll head down to the right before heading back off to the left. Do so we get a decent view of it from here, too? Yeah, we will be able to stand on that bit, but then we'll pretty much just have to fall down after that, so... If we can avoid having to, that would be great. Though that's probably going to be the best way to clean the underside of this plate too, actually, come to think of it. Because we can't reach all the way across there. I oh, will be able to stand on the next stem down, actually, to do those. So let's not waste too much time on that and move on to the blueberry cupcake. Raspberry cup? No, that's... I'm sorry, that's a blueberry. It's blue. That's not a raspberry. Blue raspberry is not a thing. It's only a thing in, like, Pepsi flavors and stuff. It doesn't actually exist. But then it's certainly not a blueberry because it, blueberries are a singular thing. So, okay, fine. It's more of a faded blackberry. I prefer boysenberries to be honest, which is a crossbreed between blackberries and I think loganberries? Something like that. Kind of niche, very tasty. Should have started from up here, we're getting splash onto the uh, hats from here. This would have been a really good angle for cleaning that rim. Oh well, never mind. 
Right, let's move over to this one now. There's the cherry on top. Easily going to be able to reach this room from anywhere else. Now, here is where we can clean the rest of this plate. Hopefully, it'll be pretty lenient. Otherwise, we're going to have to work on some other angles. Oh, there we go. Good. And the branch. Might have missed a bit on. Ooh, 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 almost fell off. Might have had to do a little bit more on the other side from this plate up here so I might just jump back up and do that before I forget so I don't want to get all the way through something else and then have to come all the way back up again if I can help it but while I'm here I may as well clean this plate <laughs> right, we're going to do more of that from the stem down below us as well that's most of that one done Right, uh, just hop over here, and what's, what's the bit that I've missed? Oh, I, I can't actually tell. Alright, uh, maybe that'll be more evident later on. Possibly from a lower stem, or even from the table below. Uh, the scale of this is kind of confusing. Actually, from the sugar pot down there, I think we'll probably be able to do the underside of all of these better. There's the cherry. We should actually be thinking of what angles we have looking down on stuff that might make it easier before we get down and try and do them. For example, yeah, looking down on that, it's just Probably standing on that is going to be the best thing to do anyway. Because we can't see the far side, so it's a little bit wasted, but... Spraying the cheese. Once again, it is kind of fun to see what we can do from up here. For this teacup, it's actually quite a good angle there for the bits that aren't going to be as easily seen when we're standing on it. That one's a bit too far away to be that useful. Frog, there's these crevices in the legs there that are actually well served from this angle, I think. Might not be quite as easily gotten standing on it. Alright, that's pretty much it I think in terms of what we're going to be getting from up here that's going to be more useful than doing directly. He says continuing to clean the small jug again. <sighs> Moving on. Uh, so we're done with the top side here, so the branch we still are missing a little bit of but suspect that we'll get a better angle from somewhere else. So there's this stem here that we'll clean top of, and then we'll go stand on the top of it if we can squeeze underneath that plate there. Yep, good. There's that done. Good. Hmm, we're not actually getting a better angle for that one at all. I'm just not sure what bits we missed at that. Hmm. Well, as long as we do the top of this one, the bottom we can do from the tabletop itself. This one here, we'll do what we can from the side. So again, the bottom we'll do from down below. Time to move on to the croissant.
Someone had a lot of fun designing this anyway. Well, at least I hope they did. <laughs> I'm sure it was very frustrating as well, but hopefully they're pleased with the end result. I almost wish, I mean, it would make it very much larger, but I do almost wish that the scale was even, like, my scale was even smaller, so that these would be bigger. So that I wouldn't be as up close to them. But then the whole map would just be huge. <laughs> just make it even more vast. A vast. There's a pirate joke in there somewhere, but I'm not going to try and find it right now. <laughs> Let's put at least the short extension on to make this a little bit easier. Good. Get the branch done. Uh, th oh, there we go. I was about to say, this is the branch that I really need to do, but now it is fairly clear what I had still to be done mm, and it's still not enough well that's annoying let's stand up here there we go good That bit we could have just stood on, to be fair. Um, and there's the plate up here. I think we missed a plate that we were standing on as well. I think we've still got to do the top of one of them. One of the stepping stone plates. Where does the stalk end and the branch begin? Oh, I can see the seam there. Okay. So what more does this branch need? Apparently that. Ah, oh, then that's a separate branch there. Okay. Uh, that's... Yeah, this the bottom plate here I haven't done at all. Uh, so this branch over here still needs to be done? How do I get over there? Not like that. Okay. I was right in thinking that I was going to have to just drop down onto it, I think. Once again, platforming level. Okay. I'm also making it harder for myself by still being in aim mode. Oh, here we go. There we are. And it also gives me that bit of stalk that I hadn't seen yet. And then there's another branch down here that is similar. I'm not going to get a proper view of otherwise. Apparently I'm still missing something off. Should probably take the extension off now as well. Stubby. There we go. Stalk is almost done. That branch we do over here. Hey, there is a, a tea party on my unbirthday. Amazing. <laughs> yep, we have been getting mad at this one. Not literally, thankfully. Uh, it's been actually not too bad. <laughs> it's large, there's some interesting angles, but it's honestly been quite fun. I'm glad I wore my fancy hat. Yeah, I just cleaned it. It's just over there. Yeah. <laughs> you get to clean his top hat, his tall hat, and his base hat. And the Cheshire Cat is just vibing. 
This is the fourth level out of five. There will be one more to do after this. We're almost at the 80%, so we'll get our next uh, little exposition from the Mad Hatter as well. I will not be finishing this DLC today because there will be one more after this, and I bet it's a big one. Scones, scones, scones. We've established that he says it's scones, but he did also accept that the March here told him that it can be pronounced scones. Scone is definitely how he's... Yeah, there we go. Good for your bones, and why how you've grown. <laughs> he's adapting his rhyming. Well done. Ah, can I just get up there, please? Ugh, yeah. See, the only annoying part of this is the platforming, and that's just because I suck at platforming. Ah, <laughs> uh, what am I missing of this branch? Yeah, lol, no platforming, I know. My weakness. This is why I don't play platforming games, usually. <laughs> also, the fact that the, like, the physics in this game are not well suited for platforming. I'm missing something with this branch. But what? Oh no, not this one. This one? What's missing on this one? And the difference between the two of them is very slight. Have I missed something in a little crevice somewhere? Ah, oh, I bet it's over here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, yep. <laughs> that, that's a bit more. That's a bit more understandable. Once again, it's a case of if you think you've missed a spot, you probably have. In VR, you could just teleport. Yeah. I haven't tried this in VR. I think I would make myself sick. <laughs> but yeah, being able to just teleport is pretty handy. fun but tiring yeah <laughs> teleport helps with motion sickness yeah that's that is the idea of teleportation controls but just the looking around i think would send my brain through a loop i generally do much better with vr games where they're pretty static like beat saber you're just standing still predominantly and you've got things to focus on as well and um, truck simulator you're sitting and you're looking around a little bit but things are coming towards you with a very solid foreground subnautica was just ugh. i barely managed to complete a creative run without hurling <laughs> and not even just nauseous it was, it was just giving me a headache <laughs> what am i missed on this base doesn't look dirty still. Once again, if I think I've missed something, I probably have. It'll be on a different angle that I haven't thought of yet. Maybe? <laughs> I should also just... Oh, can I, I can get right under here. Alright. <laughs> get right up close. Ah, it was the fold underneath where it meets the table. That makes sense. Uh, where can I crouch? There we go. So I need to do the tablecloth underneath this as well. Beat Saber is the best, yeah. Um, there was, there's another one as well that allows you to do similar sort of things. Power Beats. Power Beats VR, I think. That's a really good one as well. It's quite good. It, it just takes any music track that you have locally you can just load up a folder and it will generate a track off anything it's not perfect but it just means that you can do the same stuff while listening to all of your favorite songs without having to worry about if someone else has made a map for it or wasting time making one yourself uh, and there's a lot of optionality to it as well you can choose how much of certain elements that you want to show up so that's quite a good one 
haven't done any in ages, but it was it was good. <laughs> Easy can't drive the headset too much of a potato, yeah. You don't need too much for a lot of games because they're they're aware of the restrictions. Generally I find that those that have been made with VR in mind are pretty good and it'll it'll cope. Because I used to do a lot of uh, used to do more VR just on my 1070 and it was fine. But those who start off as one game and then shoehorn it in, like Subnautica for example, you know, VR was not their focus. It, very much not their focus. It it shows. <laughs> they did not put much thought into it at all. It was a bit of an afterthought. In fact, they still haven't incorporated the fixes from the mod as well, that fixes like the... Well, to my knowledge anyway, I'm fairly sure the f field of view is still balked. It's, it's always baffling when all you would have to do is incorporate the same things that the modern community has already done to improve a game, and you don't even do that. <laughs> Maybe you don't want to credit the authors, maybe? I don't know, but when it's it's your code. <laughs> it's your code and they just tweaked it. To go in and make the same change yourself, even if you don't give them a nod, it would be nice to do so, but technically not required. Yeah, when, when devs don't even do that, it's baffling to me. <laughs> it's like, the, the work is done. <laughs> Right, what am I missing on the sugar pot? I thought it might be around the lip here, but I'm not seeing anything there. So is it the fold again? The bit where the base meets the table? It would be nice if it had a flared base that came out instead. Let's solve that. Yeah, there we go. Let's solve that being a problem graphics card is like two or three years old. Yeah, that's not too bad, but the CPU is rough. Gotcha. Yeah, CPUs are annoying to replace as well, because you've got to do the motherboard and the RAM sometimes. I had that when I bumped my CPU to a 5600X, because I think it was the, the chipset was the same, because I did have a 1600, I think. And I'm fairly sure I could swap in the chipset, regardless. AMD were at least good enough to keep the pins and stuff, I think. But doing so wouldn't unlock all of the capabilities of the new CPU because it had been designed with a lot of other stuff in mind. So it was a case of, well, I should update my motherboard as well. And then in doing that, it's like, oh, but then modern main boards aren't compatible with DDR3 anymore, which is all I had, so I had to get new RAM as well. <laughs> it all just blows out. Probably next year when 10 is out of support and I have to do it, yeah. I still will not. I don't care if an operating system is out of support, I will likely keep running with Windows 10 until I... until something else forces me to. The only reason I moved to 10 off 7, I think, is because of the VR. <laughs> I think because VR was not supported in 7 properly, so I shifted to 10. I can't remember. Something like that, anyway. I hit some wall, anyway, where it's like, yeah, this doesn't work on this operating system anymore. It's like, fine. Because <laughs> otherwise it just feels like such a faff. Windows 10 is genuinely good. 11 is mostly harmless. Yeah. I, I'm sure it's fine. I mean, it, it's likely better in terms of just optimizations and stuff. But I do not like how so many things keep trying to bully you into using AI features. AI features. They can all go jump off a cliff for all I care. It's just how insidious it is sometimes where you've got to be really careful on what you click on, how you do it. I can't remember what was the last one. There was, there was some update 
I can't remember if it was Windows or it might have been on my phone actually. Where you had to tick a box. Like normally you, you know, there'll be a box saying that yes, I, I agree to have my details used for such and such or whatever. And it might be pre-checked, which in itself is a dick move, but at least unchecking it to say, no, I don't want this is more intuitive. But there was a checkbox where it's like you had to check it to say, I do not want such and such. It's like, pisses me off. Uh, I hate that the ladders have collision when they're lying down, by the way. Um, let's just put these out of the way where I don't need them anymore. There you go. So I can clean underneath them. My main issue with upgrading operating systems is usually just the, the fear of a lack of compatibility of then I'll just find that there's a bunch of stuff that I want to use that then no longer works. <laughs> like OBS compatibility for example, or video editing stuff, or, or older games. I don't really want to have to bother with running things in a VM if I can avoid it. And probably that's actually the better idea, quite frankly, is I probably should just do that anyway. Clean the squatting frog. There's a fly on his head, apparently. Alright, I was wondering what that was from a distance. Frog pot fly. Hey. You're a weird one, Mr. Frog. But I do appreciate your bow tie. I mean, at least in terms of games compatibility these days, is so long as Steam remains compatible to it, its framework is usually pretty good for running even old stuff. So that's a start. <laughs> Getting stuff through there, like there's a bunch of old games that I might still want to play every now and then. There's, there's some that I have the discs for, but I've then bought again through Steam. So it's like, this way I don't need to worry about trying to get it working myself. Or if I want to play it on a computer that doesn't have a disk drive. <laughs> My main PC still does. I specifically wanted to still have a disk drive, just in case I wanted to use it for anything. <laughs> Burning CDs for the car, for example, because our older car only has a stereo that does CDs. It doesn't have an auxiliary input or anything, so, you know. Though I have since then got a... Uh, uh, one of those things that plugs into the cigarette socket that um, charging socket I guess these days is all it's used for um, that broadcasts an FM frequency and accepts Bluetooth so I, I usually do that and the newer van just has Bluetooth anyway but still a, an occasional niche requirement to burn CDs <laughs> this has two no idea why <laughs> to be sure to be sure I guess <laughs> Uh, DVD and Blu-ray separate? Or Blu-ray? Uh, CD and Blu-ray separate? I don't know. Mine is a Blu-ray drive. It can technically write Blu-rays as well. Not that I have ever done so, I don't think. That was back when the idea of, oh, that's great for backups. Except that now I just have a ton of SSDs that I use instead. What was that noise? I keep hearing funny noises in this game. Which I guess shouldn't surprise me. Oh, it's for cloning Blu-rays, gotcha. That makes sense. If you don't want to do, like, the intermediary of doing a an image on disk. Almost done with this level, which is good because it's almost 3 o'clock and I need lunch. 3pm is not lunchtime, sir. I know, but I, I started streaming late because I was having to keep an eye on it this morning. 
so I didn't actually get started until like 11.30. Actually, I think it was closer to 12. No, it was after 12, I think, that I actually got started in the end. So that just threw everything else out of whack. And then this one has taken a bit longer than I would have liked. But it is a big level. I don't think I'm being very fairly compensated for this low, because the previous ones were like 200 or $250, and this I think is only 300 which, yeah, implies that it shouldn't be that much bigger, but it, it was. There we go. Good. Saucer, teacup, teacup. Right. I'm onto the hourglass. How many bits of hourglass are there? I should check what else I might have missed. Uh, she's doing fine though, um, at the moment at least. Stack teacup handles. Okay, I've got to go all the way back to the first table. There's also a spoon that I've missed somewhere. Oh, I can give you the uh, the grand tour of the out the spoon of the other tables at least. There we go. It's got that spoon out of the way. All right, stacked teacups. Oh, somehow I missed this one. All right. Uh, there was two of them though. There we go. That's those two done. So we started on the yellow table. Here's the pocket watch. Um, which has got months on it. Cool design though. Blue table has the gramophone, which is really annoying to clean. And the candelabra, which is even more annoying to clean. And then the hat. <laughs> and then we're on to here where there was the cake tower. And the hourglass that we're finishing with. What else did we miss? The tall hat is apparently not clean yet. All right. And then there's four pieces of the hourglass. Oh, and one of the candles is not clean either. Okay, so candles. We do actually have the ladder up here still. Which candle was it? Not that one. Not that one. What one? Is it this angle? Yeah, there we go. Cool. Now, how is this tall hat not clean yet? <laughs> how many times do I have to clean you, old man? Oh, no, okay, no, that's fair. There was just a, that was the bit that I was using as a step to get up onto the top hat and completely forgot to clean it, even while I was standing on it. So that's fair. Right, let's uh, run through that again. So it's just the hourglass. Excellent. Start from the top. If, we, if, if okay, won't let me up. Do we? Uh, maybe from the teacup? Doing? No. Okay. I guess we'll use the ladder then. <laughs> I'll just have to then take it away so I can clean behind it. Right. Be gone, foul ladder. Let's just clean what I can from this side. Correct me if I'm wrong, but usually an hourglass is full of sand? <laughs> Not whatever that is. Looks cool though. All these little bits on the edges, they look very lovely with the ornateness of like just like flowers or something. Bitched clean. <laughs> yep, there's the top done. Then we just have the hourglass itself. Maybe we try and leave that to last. Base done, good, and then column, which is going to be very annoying to finish. It's also very hard to clean each column without getting the bit of the hourglass that we're still trying to avoid. Ah, perfect. Just like that. It was kind of translucent. Wait for it, wait for it. Uh, it would help if I actually knew which bit I was missing. 
Well, that was anticlimactic. What have I missed? <laughs> it's it's too clear for it for me to have missed much, surely. There we go. <laughs> mad tea party. Complete the mad tea party job. You'd think they could think of a snappy name. But never mind. Time lapse time. Oh good, they've got a nice high angle. Oh, the Cheshire Cat just appeared halfway through. Alright. I could have, yeah, I could have sworn he wasn't there to start with, so that makes sense now. <laughs> oh, how marvellous. I've lost a curious pile of jam and gained a hat. The timing couldn't be perfecter. It's the March here's 445th unbirthday and everyone's invited. Be sure to let dear Alice know, won't you? I'm sure she went that way. No, wait, it's my unbirthday. It is? Of course, it is. Of course, of course, of course. Of breakfast, tea and dinner. Pile it up and shower with sauce till every spoonful's a winner. Okay, Queen of Hearts Court. Right, that is likely to take some time, I suspect. I mean, the scale of the footprints makes it look like it's not as large as the tea party that we just did, which is interesting. But uh, I suspect otherwise. There's probably more to it than meets the eye. Maybe that's only half of it. Not sure. Anyway, that's going to do. Yeah, 300 bucks, you're being ripped off again. I know, right? They do make these uh, not pay much. Yeah, 200 for the entrance hall, 250 for the white rabbit's house, 300 for the mushroom, which was a decent size, but then there's the same amount for the tea party, and that was definitely bigger. That was not the same size as the mushroom whatsoever. And then another 300 just for this? Hmm. It'll be interesting to see how long that takes. I suspect we should be being paid more. But they expect that you've already finished the career and like the idea is is that if you haven't because you can always do the specials regardless of your career um and they don't want people just doing the special ones where you get given the pro washer and other such things they don't want people just doing those and not doing the career and actually earning the money through that gameplay but it's fine <laughs> 